you should never forget tasks again if you use Notion. There are so many different ways that people seem to just, oh, I don't know, I, I didn't remember this thing I was supposed to do. I didn't have the thought on the go. It wasn't captured. This is no excuse for you guys. I'm taking a stand right now and showing you exactly how to never forget a single task in Notion. This is a pretty universal video, but I will say this is a, another step in my series where I show you how to build a second brain from scratch. Now in this second brain series, you can learn how to build an entire template or you can get my Supreme second brain which also includes my course, Mastering Notion. You also can follow along on YouTube with this system and then go to the Mastering Notion course on Skillshare, sign up on the free trial, watch through the four hours of content and then ditch it if you want. So it's completely up to you. Getting started on this page, earlier in the system, what we did was we made a page called Inbox. Now, the reason for this page is very important. It's essentially used as like a mobile page that you then can quickly enable quick capturing on the go so I'm actually gonna delete out this uh, right here. That was just a duplication error from earlier. And you're gonna set the width of this page to be small width instead of full width. So untoggle this. And then from there, you're gonna do slash synced block. And you're gonna select this because this page is gonna be the root where the data comes from. And you're gonna put a bullet point here. Now with that bullet point in this synced block, you're then gonna go to copy and sync. Now, if you go to the top left, you can find your way back home very easily. And if you recall earlier in the series, we have this little section over here that has an inbox. Mattering on your preference, what you can do is you can either paste this in right here and then separate the space by pressing enter, getting an extra block here and putting this right here or doing the exact same system and uh, having it like below right here. So this is completely up to your preference. But essentially what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to have a quick capture inbox on your mobile application, which essentially is gonna be in that view on that page that we just had. And then it will easily go into this. Now, the reason for this is because to be quite honest, the mobile app isn't great. And when loading a database, it's not that quick. But if we add a couple extra spaces here by just pressing enter and adding some extra blocks, and then we go into our phone, what we can do is add an extra widget. So I would recommend you go to Notion and then you find add new widget. And then I'm just gonna make sure that we select a page one here. You can always select the favorites and the recent widgets as well. But I'm just gonna go with a specific page here. And then if you tap and hold, you're able to set it up by editing the widget and then choosing the page. Now, the page that I'm going to choose is gonna just be called Inbox. And similar to what we were dealing with earlier, if, if you're in a situation where multiple different pages are called Inbox and you're not sure which one, you can always cancel this process and exit out and then go back to the view and make sure you just put like multiple X's at the end and then refresh the page so that the data make sure it's stored Then go back to your phone, hold it, edit the widget and then change it to inbox. And you'll see the one with the extra X's and that's going to be your page. And then when you get off of that, now you're going to have this quick widget. So you can obviously delete the extra part of the name. So anytime you have a quick idea now, you can go and press this and it will quickly load and you'll have a little bit of wiggle room to work with the tap in this different area and you can just type here and it will show up on your page over here on your pc but it also will show up right here in your inbox so then say we have an example task here so take out the trash and what if i was coming back from being on the go i could drag this into my task inbox or just cut the text and paste it right in here. It's always an option, by the way, to just not have these bullets and completely freeform type in this so that you can then just copy or control X and paste this out. It's completely up to your preference. I just haven't found a better way to quick capture on the go because when you go into this page and there isn't a database, it's a little quicker than if you have a database set up in there and it's not much extra work to drag this inbox into like your notes or into your task inbox here. So I would recommend you give this a try. And I would also recommend that you check out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.